Good. Gertie, sit. Good. All right. Welcome to Gertie's dog training video. Um, sweet Gertie. I did put her on a leash. Uh, I don't always have a dog on a leash in videos, but my cat is stalking around here and Gertie loves my cat, don't you? Yes, so I'm just doing this just to um, help her focus right now. So in the videos, I'm gonna go through what she's learned here, um, show you how to practice it so that you can uh, keep the training up at home. Yes, good girl, Gertie. So Gertie um, does have a lot of energy. I would say out of all the puppies here, she is like, they're trotting and she is running at 100 miles an hour. So um, that's okay, that's just who she is. But I think, you know, as you're training her and you're working with her, always be focusing on trying to bring her down. So help her be a little calm, uh, working on stays, working on impulse control exercises, like leave it, uh, calling her to come, any of those things where we're just like really reinforcing calm behavior and teaching her to focus on us. So even right here, I didn't ask her to lay down, but she's laying down, right? So I'm gonna reinforce that. I'm gonna reward her for making a nice choice because she could be choosing to be jumping and barking and chasing the cat. And even though I do have her on a leash, um, she's sitting politely. So I wanna, good girl, I wanna let her know that I see that and I appreciate it. So uh, whenever you're training at home, keep your lessons short, right? They can be a little 10 minute lessons. You can definitely just like sprinkle training in throughout the day. So it doesn't have to be a formal lesson. You know, as you're just going through your day, ask her to sit before she goes out the door. Um, have her down before you give her something she likes. Bless you. Have her do a touch, have her do a stay before you throw a toy, okay? We just call it the nothing in life is free plan so we have to do something to get something girl when we're asking her for behavior we're gonna always try to say the word first and then hand signal second so that would look like watch me yes good girl good girl so i'm saying the word watch me and then i'm throwing in the hand cue second i say yes to tell her she got it right so yes means oh you did look at me and I'm gonna give you a treat. So as you're training her, as she gets better, you can start to combine several cues for one reward. So we might ask for a come, sit down, watch me. Yes, reward. So she does several things for the one reward. And then lastly, what I would say is when you think about rewards, a reward is anything that makes her happy, right? Anything that makes her go, oh, this is good. I like life right now. So in the beginning, treats and her dog food are easy. She is such a chow hound that definitely, um, you could just have her working for her own dog food. And then when you're asking her for harder things, then mix in the really good treats with her dog food. But you can also, you know, think of rewards like going after a ball or getting petted. Um, going out the door, putting on your leash, and just start asking her to do something to get something that is considered a life reward. All right, so we're gonna start out, uh, we'll go through watch me, which is fist to chin, sit, there comes cat. Gertie, come, good girl, uh-uh, Gertie. Watch me, yes, good. Well, it's kind of perfect timing for her to do that because I'm sure you will see that. Okay, good, my cat just went upstairs. So watch me just needs to focus on me. So right then she's like, ah, we're Salem. If I can get her to look at me, I have her brain, right? And then we can start building up and, and building off of that. But if she's staring at the cat, then that is where her brain is. Right here, Gertie, watch me. Yes, good girl. Uh, on the watch me, she does not have to sit. It's just eye contact. So if she sits, she lays down. Any of that is just a bonus. So fist to chin for watch me. Sit is going to be palm up. Down is palm down. And then stand is like this. So a flat open palm and you pull it into your body. So I'm going to run her through those behaviors and just let you watch. So Gertie, sit. Good girl. Down. Good girl, watch me. Yes. Gertie, 
30. Stand. Yes, good girl. So a little hesitation on that one, but that's okay because stand's probably one of those that I don't ask for all the time, but it's good to know. Uh, the stand is going from a sit or down into standing on all fours, right? And uh, what it's really good for is because our dogs, what will happen is you'll ask for a sit and then you'll always ask for a down. So then one day you ask for a sit and your dog's just gonna lay down. So we wanna have a third behavior to throw in there. So maybe we say sit, down, sit, stand, right? So it's not always just sit to down. It's something else in between. Um, it stands good for when you're putting a harness on, if you're wiping off her paws, for brushing her, any of those kind of things. The stand will get her into a good position. Stand. See right there, she started to go into the down. Stand, yes. So I asked for the stand, I marked it with yes. I'm gonna go ahead and get her back up and reward her in standing position. Maybe just physically giving her the treat while she's standing. Good girl. Down. Good girl, Gertie, watch me. Watch. All right, another behavior.